I don't know. I want them all. That's the problem. Hello everybody, my name is Kelsey and we're about to get very, very nerdy. With some book shopping. be kind of fun to do one of those come shopping with me videos but because of COVID most of us are shopping online and I thought it might be kind of fun to do a sort of come shopping with me but also show you where I go and like the entire process of it so if you wanted to try these websites out you could and you can get a better idea so I'm starting this probably relatively earlier than you guys are going to see it it's the middle of April right now because I wanted to show you where I go kind of how I get books what I'm planning on getting that kind of stuff all the way through to the shipping to them physically getting here and showing me unboxing them showing you the quality of the book when they get here that kind of thing um so I've got two websites that I'm planning on using and I'm doing this relatively early because those sites that I use it takes them a couple of weeks if not more to get to me because of where they're coming from or because they are you know, X, Y, and Z reason, COVID, shipping, whatever. They just take longer than Amazon's like 10 minutes to get here. So we're going to be doing it that way. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will leave links to everything down below that I'm talking about, all the books that I'm going to be talking about, the websites I'm using, that kind of stuff will be linked below if you ever want to check that out. Um, but let's get started. Let me tell you about the websites. So the website that I use the most right now is actually bookshop.org. Um, and this is because this gives you the feature to give money to an affiliate of some sense. So this gives you the ability to, when you purchase a book, a portion of the money will go to a bookshop of your choice or a affiliate of your choice. So I know that there are a lot of people here on booktube that do have affiliate links, myself included, and if you buy from that link then that gives a little bit of money to that person or a little bit of money to that indie bookshop. As long as you can find that person on bookshop or that bookshop on bookshop then you can really do wherever. It doesn't have to be like your local indie bookstore, although a lot of people do that. It can be something from like across the globe or across the country, like it's totally up to you. Um, so that's kind of where most of my books come from. But before we get into bookshop, I'm actually going to show you how I get UK covers. So in my March haul, I hauled a ton of middle grade that I purchased with UK covers because I personally loved the UK cover more. And I got a lot of questions on how I do that. And so I thought I would show you. I personally use Book Depository, which I'm pretty sure is owned by Amazon. Um, but that's where I go to get said books. So I've got a couple of books in the back of my mind that I do want to get UK covers for. So I thought I'd just show you those real quick before we get into the bulk, which will be on Bookshop. So I've got screen recorded on my computer here, as you can see. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of show you how I do it. Um, so for example, one of the books that I want to get is The Wren Hunt. And so if I search it here, um, you'll see it kind of pop up. As like a drop down don't click on that because that'll take you at least for me it takes me to the US cover so I just go ahead type in the full title and then this will take me to the search page it also helps to know what the UK cover looks like before you go searching on here otherwise you're gonna be finding whatever uh, so the first one here right here this is the UK cover whereas all of the US covers look like this black cover with a kind of tree bird on it which is a beautiful cover but I personally like this one better. Another way to double check that you know where it's coming from is if you click on it which I'm going to do here we go once you click on it then you can do a little deep dive to see kind of where it's coming from sometimes over here it'll tell you that it's coming from the UK this is not this is just telling me that it's coming to the US but if you go down here to details you can see that the publisher is Bloomsbury um, and things like that, the paperback, the location is the UK. That way you can tell for sure if it's going to be a UK cover or a US cover. Usually what it looks like is your, what you're going to get. So I want this paperback. So I'm going to add that to my basket. Um, and then I also want to get the UK cover of Ray Bear because I 
forgot how to spell it. Um, because I am very curious about this cover. And as you can see over here, this gives me some kind of like techno vibe. And I personally love the more floral look to the cover if I have a choice. So I'm going to go with this one, which is 7% off. Yay. Same thing. It tells me it's free shipping. If I go down here, it'll tell me it's coming from the UK. So this is the cover that I personally want. So I'm going to add that to my basket. Today is the 16th of April. So I'm going to go ahead and check out real quick. So there you go. I've got my two UK paperbacks on the way to me. Well, they're not shipped yet, but we will keep you informed when they are. So let's take a look at Bookshop. Um, so I've got a couple ideas of books I want to pick up, but beyond that, we're just going to kind of peruse what's going on here. Um, I do know that I do want to get the next two in the Broken Earth, the Broken Earth series. Yeah, this is the fifth season. So if I look up Broken Earth, if I can spell Earth correctly. Good times. Um, so there we go. So that's the entire trilogy. I just want the second one. Are you going to make me do this? Sometimes it's, it's not nice to me, and so I have to come in this way and then just click on the author, and sometimes it'll take me to her page that way. Here we go. So that's the second one. That's the third one. So I'm going to go ahead and plop these in to my cart because I definitely want to make sure I grab these two. Um, sometimes they'll have obviously other options if you want hardback, paperback, whatever. I want a paperback so this is great. It's available which is great because sometimes they go out of stock real quick. Uh, if you want details about it like language, paperback, how heavy it is, publisher, all that fun stuff. This is exactly what I want. Let's add it to my cart. Perfect. And then we're going to go over here to the third one, which is in paperback. That's exactly what I want. Perfect. So now that I've got those that I definitely wanted out of the way, we're just going to peruse. Um, let me see what I've got in my wish list here because I put things on my wish list just randomly and this is a private wish list so you guys get to see my private bookshop wish list if you're curious so oh 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 okay I have a problem it's fine um let's see I think I want the UK covers if I do end up buying those we'll see oh I am interested in that but I do have a couple of Christina Lauren I haven't read yet so um we might hold off on those I am interested in a lot of these, which is fun considering this is my wish list, so of course I am. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Ooh, that one might be an option. Let's see. Oh, that one looks cute. That one I want, but I think I might wait again to be like closer to Halloween time to get. I'm very interested in this one, so we'll see. Ooh, that's out in paperback now. Shoot. Okay, we'll see about that one. <laughs> this is... My wallet is going to hate me by the end of this. I'm interested in this one, but I think I might want to wait until it comes out in paperback. We'll see about this one. I am super curious, though. This one... Oh, the paperback is out now. Or is it? It is. It's available. Okay. Let's see. So we'll see. Um, yeah, I think I think I have to. Now that I've talked about all the books that I own because of Jane Austen and how many I don't have that are persuasion retellings, I think I need this one. However, let me see if they've got, we're going to add this to my card because let's be honest, we're just going to, we're going to do that. Um, let me see if they've got, they do, is it in paperback? It is, but it's not out yet. This is the new one. Okay. So we're just going to add that to my wish list. I don't think I want to pre-order anything today, so we'll see. I am curious about this one. And I do love me some Jenny Han. So we'll see. I think I need to get this one now that it's out in paperback. Oh, but I like the hardcover 
better, but the paperback is cheaper. This is sad. Okay, I think I want to get the hardcover, but I'm going to wait because that's expensive. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's go to, because sometimes what I find is if I go to my TBR, which I've got open here, sometimes those books will spark some interest in me. So let's see what kinds of things I've got in here that I don't already own. Okay. Oh, that's one that I wanted to get. Let's see if Bookshop has it. They do. The question is, it is available. All right. So we'll go ahead and get that one. I'm excited about that one. That one looks really good. Let's see. A lot of these I've already got <clears throat> or are on the way to me in some capacity. I don't know. So I did pick that one up. So yay. A lot of these are pre-orders. What else do we have in here? A lot of these I... Oh! Hold up. My friend Taylor had this in a video recently. Who's the author? Tina. So that's 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 her right there. Oh, the paperback is not as fun as the hardback, but it's cheaper. So, and it's available. You can also get ebooks and audiobooks. Apparently, didn't know you could do that. So this is like a retelling of the Evil Queen from Snow White. It says Once Upon a Time meets Game of Thrones. I loved Once Upon a Time. I've not seen Game of Thrones because it's super gory, but I think that's like a world and a series I would enjoy if it wasn't as gory as it is. Mm. All right, we're doing it. I've, I had to get a retelling in here that's like not Jane Austen, right? I think my max is gonna be 10. I've got five in here, so I can get three more? Is that how math works? Yeah, so I can do three more. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. So this one, the younger sister. Let me see if they've got that. I don't know if they will. So apparently I spelled all of this so wrong. Younger sister. I don't know if they'll do that. Oh my gosh, they have it. Okay, so this is... I'm so excited. This is a finished version of Jane Austen's The Watsons, which is one of her unfinished works and a lot of people have taken Sanditon and finished it but I haven't really seen anywhere that they have done that with the Watsons and this is actually one that has been finished by one of Jane Austen's nieces and it was super super close with Jane Austen and so this is probably as close as we were ever ever going to get to it actually being a finished Jane Austen novel so no I gotta definitely add that so that's fun. All right, so sometimes what I like to do is I also like to go to my Amazon wish list, which you guys always have linked down below if you're ever curious about what I'm interested in. Um, Cause I just add stuff willy nilly to this. And sometimes those sparks things like books I've had on here for a very long time. So actually let's just go all the way to the bottom. Oh, not that far bottom. And see what we've got here. So. Got some, these all look very familiar to my bookshop one. I think I at one point was trying to make my bookshop the same. So, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. I am just overwhelmed by what I'm interested in. I wonder if they have this one. They do! Is it expensive? But it's on back order. No! I hate when they're on back order. All right, so let's take a look at these few I've got. Uh, I'm still debating this one because it looks really interesting, but this one also looks really interesting. This is, it takes place in college and this girl's roommate falls asleep, but then she doesn't wake up and it's like this sleeping beauty illness. I had my eye on this for years. When did it come out? Uh, is it gonna tell me? Oh, well, it came out last, or 2019. All right, I think I'm gonna, think I'm gonna do it. I am curious about that one. So here's one. 
that I've been putting off getting, but it doesn't come out until June in paperback. The hardback is available though. I think I'm not going to get that one. I do want this eventually, but I also want this one. Oh, I'm conflicted. I think I'm going to go with this one because I've had it on my list for longer. So, those are eight items. That should be ten in total, which of course I didn't really need, but you know, it's fine. Um, so we're just going to check out real quick and I will keep you posted on when they show up and we can kind of like see how long they've been, how long they've taken. But yeah, we've got a few books here. Very excited about them. So I'm going to check out here and uh, come back to you with shipping updates. Hello, this light is horrendous, but I just wanted to let you know that it is later the same day and half of my bookshop has been shipped. So four out of the eight are on their way here. The label has just been created, like they're not actually here, here, but I wanted to keep you updated. Chris wants to say hi. <laughs> Go over there. Um, so yeah, much quicker than I thought it was. I clicked on the like ship within or get to you within like five to 10 days. So like I didn't expect it to be shipped this quickly, but it's only half. Anyway, just wanted to keep you updated. Hello, good morning. It's really early. Um, I'm about to head to work, but I just got an email notification. I'm super shaky, I apologize. I just got an email notification that the rest of my bookshop books have shipped. So that's exciting. It's Monday the 19th, so it's been like three days, maybe, I think, since I bought everything and the first shipment has gone. Nothing is actually physically shipped yet. It's still like all pre-shipment stuff. Like the label's been created, but it hasn't physically gone anywhere yet. So like it really hasn't shipped yet, but I got the email that it's shipped. So I'm keeping my eye on it for it to actually physically ship because right now it's just kind of hanging out. Um, but yeah, that's my latest update on Bookshop. Everything from Bookshop has been boxed and the label has been created. So maybe in a couple of days it'll head towards me. We'll see. Nothing from Book Depository yet. That's fine. The shipping is probably, I think, somewhere between 5 and 10 days. So, like, I'm not expecting to see an email about that anytime soon. And then once I do, it'll take a while because the UK. But, um, that's my update. Just want to let you know. That's kind of where we're at. Hello. It is a couple days later since I talked to you last. But I wanted to let you know that one of my Book Depository books, the... Oh shoot, what did my email say? Uh, Ray Bear just shipped. Well, maybe not just shipped, but they just got the shipping info. So I'll keep my eyes on that because there's no shipping. There's no tracking number sometimes for a book depository, which is very annoying. Um, the last couple of times I have bought stuff from there, there has been shipping information that was sent or shipping like uh, tracking numbers. And so I'm hoping that that's gonna be the case this time once they both ship. But all right, now we don't have one. Um, and that might just be because it's from the UK, it needs to get to the US, and then once it's in the US, we get a tracking number, which is entirely possible, because that's kind of what happened with the last two books that I bought from there. Um, they shipped, and then like a week later, we got a sh sh tracking number. Uh, but that's just kind of where we're at. I'll let you know when I know more. Um, the second box from Bookshop is on its way to me physically. It's made it out of the, like, delivery center it was delivered to. Whereas the first box is still kind of hanging out. So we'll see what happens with that. But in theory, we'll get them in the next couple of weeks, which would be great. But that's kind of where we're at right now. But I wanted to update you really quick. Hello. It's Tuesday. I don't even know what day it is anymore. It is Thursday the 22nd. So it's been a full um, week since I came to you guys and ordered everything. And I got home today. And I have some boxes. Oh, that made a lot of noise. I've got a couple boxes. So it looks like everything I ordered from Bookshop has arrived a week after I ordered it, which is great. Um, so let's, let's get unboxing. So in theory, there'll be four and four. So let's get into this one real quick. It's got this fun little tab here, which I like. Oh, I make the best faces. There we go. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is what I see. So, let's get digging. Oh, 
perfect. So this I think is box one. Um, so we've got the two books by N.K. Jemisin, The Obelisk Gate and The Stone Sky, which is great. Um, they are about the same size, I think. No, the first one is the biggest, I want to say. But they look like they're good. They're in good condition. Um, a little bit, like, bent on some of the corners, but, like, that's probably from being kind of tossed around in shipping. But those look good. Nothing too crazy about that. So yay! Those are my two that I definitely wanted to get. Uh, and then the next one, ooh, is much thicker than I anticipated it being, but that is The Evil Queen by Jenna Show, Show, Showalter, I think? Uh, and this is like a retelling of The Evil Queen from Snow White. This is the paperback copy, which looks a little bit kind of on the pages there. But, like, I am not a stickler for that. Like, this doesn't bother me at all. I'm just, I wanted you guys to know that's what they kind of look like. Um, but it looks really good. It smells really good, too. I'm very excited about it. I'm actually, this cover's growing on me, you know? I like it. So there's that one. And then the last one in this box is The Dreamers, which is the sci-fi. You know, I don't even know what kind of genre you would put this in. But it's about the kind of dreaming illness where like someone falls asleep and then they can't wake up but they're not dead they're just not waking up but it's real thin how many pages is in this um oh it makes it to three of them <laughs> the acknowledgments start on page 300 so this book is about 300 pages long um but that looks fun this is i feel like this is more of a mystery maybe with a sci-fi twist i'm not sure Maybe I'm just making up sci-fi and I just really want it to be sci-fi and it's not. Who knows? That's real fun. So that one looks good as well. So we'll do box two now. I've got my handy dandy scissors. Let's just do this without cutting myself or the books. That would be great. Does anybody else stress when they open boxes with scissors that you know there are books in because you're afraid you might accidentally like cut the cover? Just me. Oh, we got some padding in here, so that's okay. We wouldn't have cut them anyway. So the first one I see is a recipe for persuasion by Sonali Dev. This is the modernized retelling of Persuasion by Jane Austen. I think it has to do well, it's got a recipe on there, so I feel like it has to do with baking or cooking, which I believe the other one, Pride and Precious and Other Flavors, also does. So I'm wondering if this ties in to that one in any way, like if these are side characters and she's just making them know each other. That would be kind of cool. But this is so fun! And then her Sense of Sensibility retelling is coming out this year sometime. So I feel like I need to read these because... Ooh. But this one is really good quality. I don't see any dings or anything. So we're excited about that. Uh, ooh! These feel fun. So the next is You Should See Me in the Crown, in a Crown. Yes, by Lee Johnson. Oh, it's got the Reese's thing on there. Like, I'm so excited that she's part of Reese's Book Club, but must they put that on the actual cover? Um, this is the YA book about a girl who becomes prom queen, or tries out for prom queen, because there's a scholarship attached to it. I believe it's set in Indiana. It is! A... And then the cover, that's kind of cool. The cover has the title. I don't know if you can see this, but it's got the title kind of inter embossed on the cover, I think. That's the best way to say that. But that's exciting. I've had my eye on this before, it came, like when it came out. And I still never got around to getting it. But now I do. Ooh, I like these kind of chapter, not chapter heads, but like section heads. That's cool. Then we've got a lot, a lot so I think is how you say it by Darcy Little Badger. This is heavy compared to how small it is. Like these are heavy pages. Oh man, I could kill someone with this book. Um, oh, the cover has these really cool. Are they wolves on it? It's only on the front. I think they're wolves. They look like wolves on the cover. But this, I don't know too much about, but I am interested in it, and I also do know that like. I believe the author has confirmed that the main character is asexual or aromantic, which I'm very interested in because I don't think I've ever read a book where the main character is asexual or aromantic. 
but this one looks really fun. Oh my gosh, the chapter heads are stunning. They've got these little illustrations. Oh, that's pretty. I might have to read this one. This is such a pretty book. Oh, stunning. So I got that one. And then the last one, this is just an odd shaped book. So this is The Younger Sister by Jane Austen and her niece. But it's like a manuscript. Do you see this? So this is like a normal paperback or a normal hardback. And like this, this is quite large. This is not what I was expecting. And the font is very large as well but it's super floppy but it's got that like how do you like the matte cover where like you can see fingerprints and grease and stuff on it so that's gonna be fun and like the chapters start in the middle of the page but this is supposed to be this feels like self-published no this doesn't even feel self-published this feels like a manuscript kind of so I was expecting to get like an actual book, so I'm slightly disappointed with that, but I still want to read this, but I can't like take this with me anywhere. And it's thicker than I thought it was going to be, but I am excited to read it because it'll be fun. So we got all of the books from Bookshop. I think I like Bookshop. It's relatively quick, like like you can tell like within a week. Um, your, I think, pre-orders take a little bit longer, obviously, depending on how early in the process you pre-order them. So the only time that I've had to super wait for books from Bookshop has been with pre-orders, but this has been, I think, the fastest to, to get to me. But yeah, here's the eight books we picked up from Bookshop. Now I just gotta find room for them on the shelves, so that'll be fun. Um, and we're just waiting on the two... UK covers from Book Depository, which I did get an email whenever I came on here to tell you that I got an email from one of them. I got an email later that afternoon from the other one, so they're both on the way to me. I don't have tracking numbers for them, but there's a chance I could get them. Well, it kind of just depends, but regardless, I'm excited. So I'll come back to you when I've received those, um, whatever that will be, probably not until May. There's still about a week left in April little over a week and I expect that to not get here until May but those are my books and they're all new so they're good quality there's nothing crazy about them no like big damage beyond like a couple like bent edges because of what happens when it gets shipped and it gets shuffled around in the box and everything but yeah I'll come back to you when I have the last two to show you hello so it's been about a week I think since I talk to you last when I did my big unboxing and one of my last two books just showed up one of the UK covers that I ordered from Book Depository. I the other one is close it'll probably show up in the next couple of days or so so I'm not too worried about it but I thought we'd go ahead and unbox this one. I do know which one it is that didn't work at all. I hate when this happens. So this one is stunning. So, oh, it's thicker than I thought it was going to be. So this is Ray Bear by Jordan Ifueco. This is the stunning UK cover that I, oh, look at that gold foiling. So pretty. Um, it's, it's much thicker than I anticipated, but it feels really nice. It's got like that satin almost feeling, but I, I don't know. I like this cover much better than the US one for some reason. I like the nature on the cover, but I also like that it makes a woman's face here or a person's face here. So I find that interesting, but this, ooh, it's pretty inside. It's got all of these like uh, leaf vines and stuff around the chapter heads. So that's exciting. This is so pretty. Ooh, look at that map though. I've heard great things about this book. Look at that gofoiling, it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, so that's my UK cover. It is brand new, so like, it's in pristine condition, which is great. So Book Depository just takes a while to get to you, in my opinion, but the books are usually great. I've never had issues with it. I know other people have had issues with Book Depository, but I personally haven't ever had an issue. Oh, she pretty. So we're only waiting on one more, which like I said, is like a state away and should is like two stops away from being at my house so it should get here in the next couple of days fingers crossed 
but I wanted to show this to you since it showed up today. Hello, it's the next day, and the last parcel, parcel, the last parcel has arrived. It's the 1st of May, and I ordered this one, two, about two weeks ago, so that's not bad for Boat Depository. It usually takes a little bit for them to get to me, especially because I basically only use Book Depository for UK covers. Uh, but let's, let's see if this one's nicer to me. Nope! Alright, good fun. Love this. There we go. Okay, let's, let's see. Oh, she is cute. And if I can, there we go. Ah, the Wren Hunt. Here it is. It's beautiful. I love this cover. Oh my goodness. Uh, ooh, the words are like not really raised, but they're a different texture, I guess, than the rest of this book. This looks fun, and like the, the, the chapter heads have fun little things on them. This is so very, very pretty. So yes, this is the very first book that we looked up, and it's the last one that showed up, which just feels kind of appropriate. But yeah, it's in very, very good condition. Again, looks pristine. But yeah, that's the last book. It's officially showed up. So all of my books got here within two weeks of ordering them, which is not half bad. Book, um, bookshop was within a week, which is good. And then of course Book Depository took a little bit longer, which I expected. So that's kind of a look at how I do my book shopping. Uh, I do still get things from Amazon occasionally. I still, you know, do Barnes and Noble, depending on if I've got coupons and stuff. Um, I still go out physically sometimes to the local kind of uh, secondhand bookshop that's near us. But as far as online shopping, these are primarily what I do. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun for you to watch me buy books. That's really all I have for you guys today. Let me know down below what some of the places that you shop online. I would love to know. Uh, give me some, some, uh, some new places to, to check out. But if you liked this video, and I very, very much hope that you did, don't forget to go give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you want to be part of this awesome growing family. I've also got all my social media as well as other fun bookish links down in the description, so don't forget to go check all of those out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!